Our next story is about the Brahmastra. This is a potent weapon that is mentioned in the Hindu scriptures. Now, this weapon has the potential to destroy the whole universe. And for ages, it has been talked about in books and plays. And what do we tell you? That India has finally revived the Brahmastra. Now, we are talking about the Brahmos missile, the world's fastest supersonic missile, developed jointly by India and Russia. And India's chief of defense staff has said that the Brahmos is truly a Brahmastra of its time. Now, allow me to quote his exact statement. It's been a big success story in Atmanirbharta. It has also fortified India's deterrence power. The missile system has been successfully operationalized by three services and is truly a Brahmastra of its times. Now, this statement is not an exaggeration at all. Just look at what the missile is capable of. It can fly at almost three times the speed of sound at Mark 2.8. This missile is technologically at this moment is almost impossible to intercept. It has a range of nearly about 300 to 500 kilometers and this is way more than most cruise missiles around the world. It can also carry a 250 kilogram warhead and lastly the Brahmos is also nuclear capable. And a full throttle preemptive nuclear strike can put out the enemy's offensive capabilities altogether. So this missile is all powerful and it is now set to become even more lethal. Now look at this report. The chief of the Indian Air Force is called for the Brahmos variant. You see currently only the IAF's Sukhoi 30 MKI fighter jets are equipped with the air launched version of the Brahmos. Now the Indian Air Force wants to change this. It wants to develop a smaller version of the cruise missile that can be fitted into smaller jets like the Russian made MiG-29 and the French made Mirage 2000 along with the indigenous light combat aircraft. Now, this is what the Indian Air Force Chief, Air Chief Marshal V.R. Chaudhary, had to say about the plans. Let me, in fact, quote him to you. Now, achieving this milestone will be one of the biggest leaps that we can achieve in Atma Nirbharta. As the situation unfolds along the northern borders, unfolded along the northern borders three years ago, we realized that the potent weapon can be used very effectively for a land attack. And that made all the difference in the confrontation with China. Now, for the Anwars, the Air Chief Marshal was referring to the India-China border, a land border that spans over 2,100 miles. The two countries are locked in a border standoff. Now, two years back, the first fatal confrontation between the two countries since 1979 took place. It took place in 2019. And this, had, of course, plunged the bilateral relations between India and China to their lowest point in decades. Now, India plans to deploy the smaller version of the Brahmos in this region if the need were to arise. The next question, how will the new missile be? Well, the current air-launched Brahmos weighs around 2.5 tons. The next generation of Brahmos is expected to be about 1.2 tons. It will be lighter and it will be stealthier and that will make a lot of difference. The Su-30 MKIs will be able to carry at least four of them, while the light combat aircraft will be able to carry about two of these stealth missiles. The Brahmos Aerospace has already begun work on this. The trials of the airbase systems will begin towards the end of 2024. Now, interestingly, the need for such a missile has also arisen from the Russia-Ukraine war. The Indian Air Force is very closely watching the war in Eastern Europe. And given how many weapons and weapons platforms have been used and have been sourced from Russia, this, of course, is going to be very crucial. So the Indian Air Force is observing the war to gauge the success of the tactics concerning air power. The development of the next generation Brahmos missile stems from this strategy and this would of course make all the difference when the war, if it were to break out over the Himalayas. Vyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.